Continuing our Black History Month series, we wanted to highlight John Lester Sanders Jr. So we talked to his son Rudy Sanders to learn more about his father and how he strived to improve Fort Mill and the people in it. His work life got off to an early start when he created his own shoe shining business on Main Street. He was one of seven children. He was born in 1914. Later in life, uh, uh, up the road, George Fish School was built. And George Fish School came about in 1925, opened its doors in 1926, and Dad attended there. Shortly after that, uh, his mother passed, my grandmother, Grandma Lily. And so therefore his father needed some extra income in order to keep the house afloat. So he created a shoe shine uh, kit and went up on Main Street and then still would come uptown to shine the shoes and then later also get employment to help, uh, as I said before, with uh, making money for the family. His early start to the work life shaped him into his character that he never strayed from. His efforts even earned him the Ageless Hero Award at age 83. The overall contributions was the way that he raised the family. And Dad was, a, Dad was in so many different organizations, and he was a worshipful master in the Masonic Lodge. Uh, he gave service uh, to um, the George Fish School Safety Patrol, worked with the Fort, Fort Mill Police Department. But by and large, it all bore down to family. There are many other highlights that happened in his life, especially after he retired to go into service of uh, landscaping, uh, being service to others. Uh, also, it was a time of civil rights, uh, the Jim Crow era of segregation, and, and he ended up being a voice for the community of Fort Mill, a voice for, for in the Paradise section, for the voiceless. Paradise is a historically black community in Fort Mill. John Sanders is also credited for serving the people in Paradise. Dad's contribution to creating the Paradise community was taking all of the skills that he had developed as a young person under the leadership of J.B. Mills and bringing there a grocery store. And he talked to my mother and said, we're going to build another room onto the house that leads out to Dobie Bridge Road, and it's going to be called Sanders Grocery. He created the hours of operating the store. It would be in the morning up until 11 p.m. And then there were no other grocery stores open at that hour, but he would stay open in order to accommodate those workers that got off of the second shift. My father, John Lester Sanders, Jr., was inducted into the Fort Mill Hall of Fame. John Sanders did many great things to make our town a better place. He lived by the philosophy, we only have a short time on this earth, and it's up to us to leave it a little better than we found it. He passed away on September 10th, 2004 at age 90, but his family says they feel he is still walking with them.